If you are uploading a parody, review, or vlog, please choose appropriately representative metadata that will not confuse users into believing that your video is something it is not. This is especially important to remember in relation to current events or viral videos. Please select a thumbnail and title that clearly illustrate that your video is commentary and not footage from an actual event. Videos that are deemed deceptive... I repeat, videos that are deemed... Deceptive will be removed from the site and strikes may be issued to the uploader. Huh. Hello everyone, welcome to your weekly reminder that Jake Paul is a piece of hot garbage. Not that you needed a reminder, but I'm here to remind you anyway. Now, if you're an avid Jake Paul fan like I am, you were devastated a few weeks ago when he said, it's not every day, bro, and he was taking a break from daily vlogs. So it's been a tough couple of weeks, but just yesterday, I'm logging on to YouTube and I see this. Hallelujah, my favorite vlogger is back and he's donating $200,000 to my favorite Fortnite god, Ninja, the man, and the myth, the legend. Now I know this is a direct ripoff of the viral videos that Mr. Beast has uploaded where he donates large sums of money to Twitch streamers where he actually does it. But let's give Jake the benefit of the doubt here. He's typically a pretty trustworthy, straight up guy. Wait, this just seems like another one of his Team 10 vlogs. I don't... Let's skip forward a little bit. So like and subscribe, join the family, join the oh most god, family like and subscribe. Where the There's fuck is Fortnite? Video. Extra lit kid. All right, oh, 10 minutes just... in. 10 50, nothing. Team 10 game. Can I at least now get a little clip of Ninja? Like some Ninja highlights or something? Sector. Shit, you well, use his name and his picture uh, in the thumbnail. I mean, let's get it going here. Come on. Oh, hey, Fortnite, finally. 12 minutes. I'm freaking the... Ethan, it's the biggest trick donation hey, ever! Did they win? They won! They won! They won. Shh, submit donation. Submit donation. He has no idea this is happening, guys. Bullshit. Wow, he donated 100k. That's awesome, but it's Yo. to his friend... It's to his Bro, friend, like, Chance or Anthony or whatever the fuck real, his name is. He's, like, in Team There's 10 no as well. It's, it's like, Yo, they, live in the, they live in the real. same house, so that's... Alright, Ninja must be coming go. up Hold next. On. Dude, I just got donated 75 racks. Bro! No! He donated another 75k, that's so generous, but it's still... It's still the somebody that lives in the Team 10 house. Where's... So Ninja must be next, then. They didn't even know how to handle themselves. Everybody on Twitch, everyone even on YouTube, like, it, it, it's verified that it's real. Like, I actually did PayPal them that money. It is in their accounts, but they still have no idea that it was their boy, Jay Pizzy Paul. Spoiler alert. Yes, they do. Two and, weeks ago. And you guys got donated, like, $175,000. In total, yeah. Big boom. What, 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 what are your thoughts about that? Oh, that's, that's crazy. That's bro. true Some love from Dubai, bro. Just sent us rack. True love from the community, He's bro. Like, what if I up. told you that, uh... Oh, my God. It's like the acting is so fucking bad. It's almost like they want you to know that they're basically pulling their dicks out and slapping you in the face with it as a viewer. Now you and I know that this is bullshit, but the majority of his very young fan base probably doesn't have the critical thinking skill set to realize they're being manipulated right now by a sociopath. Bro, you gave us 175 grand? No. You no, why? Dude. Well, here's why? The why? why. I figured I got Chad a car, I got my dad a car, but y'all have been there with me from the start as well. Bro. Oh, good guy Jay, giving 175 grand to his friends that are part of Team 10 that he lives with that he's definitely not going to get back after they're done filming this video because that was the understanding going into the whole thing. What a sweetheart. Just go to fanjoy.com, here's $100. Uh, you literally take the $100. Well, that's the end of the vlog, I guess. Not a single mention of Ninja, not a single clip of Ninja, nothing to do with Ninja at all. Huh. Listen, I'm okay with clickbait. I mean, I use it. I don't mind when other people use it. Everyone's trying to get views, and we're in a fucking a land where there's just so much competition. You got to make a thumbnail and a title that stands out from the crowd. But at some point in the video, it should circle back around, at least briefly, to what that viewer thought they were getting into the video for. And in this case, me clicking on this video to watch Jake Paul donate $200,000 to my favorite Fortnite player, Ninja, was nowhere to be fucking found. Just didn't even get acknowledged. Please choose appropriately representative metadata that will not confuse users into believing that your video is something it is not. Mr. Beast said on Twitter, pretty sure you make a lot off of merch sales at Jake Paul. He does. Why don't you actually donate 200k to streamers? I would if I had your kind of money. 
lots of lettuce. Now that's true, Jake Paul does have a lot of money and the fact that he's taking what is inherently a good thing, which is like these videos where Beast and whoever else are donating large sums of money, changing people's lives, people that are undeserving in a sense that don't know what's coming, make for an incredible video. The fact that Jake Paul, Mr. Golden Boy of YouTube, 14 million subscribers, can't have a shred, just a fucking modicum of integrity makes my willy soft. Instead, Jake's out here just exploiting the entire situation and exploiting the success of Ninja in Fortnite on YouTube right now for his triumphant return to vlogging after a fucking two week break. I know this doesn't come as a surprise to anybody, but remember, this is just your weekly reminder that Jake Paul is a hot piece of garbage. So let's take a look at a couple of the comments. <laughs> Clickbait with Ninja's face. Mr. Beast much? Clickbait. Clickbait. Lots of lettuce. Clickbaited anyone? Laughing till him crying emoji times four. His views are so low he had to put Ninja in the thumbnail. That is true. Jake's views are on the decline and he is getting over, you know, 100 million views a month still, but on the decline nonetheless. Yo, Jack Paul, you're the best YouTuber. <laughs> Imagine being this guy in real life. Yikes. Hey, I didn't watch it, but he probably gave it back to himself. Most definitely. Where's Ninja? Well, I don't know, but that's a pretty valid question, I think. Yes, Jake is back. Please it all. Listen, I don't have much constructive to say. I'm just tired of this knobhead manipulating every possible situation to his advantage with absolute impunity on YouTube. It's fucking. He's. Fucking, I fuck. Oh, another thing I noticed was at the beginning, the car he was uh, burning out in, looks like it was paid for by Edfluence. And if you don't know about Jake Paul and his Edfluence program, that is, it's just another case that's for some reason not being talked about, where he blatantly exploits and manipulates his young fan base into giving him money for essentially nothing at all. Drew Gooden actually made a really good video about this, where he actually buys the course and goes into detail at how fucking bullshit it is. Join Jake's inner circle? I thought I already did. It said one time purchase seven dollars for inner circle but now if i want to join his inner circle i have to pay 57 dollars i have my credit card on file i got an immediate fraud alert which i don't know if that happens to you guys a lot i have never in my life gotten a fraud alert from using a credit card on any website i highly recommend you check that out uh i'm gonna fucking pop that little eye up there and you can check that video out if you like if you need another reason to see jake paul as a complete scamming scumbag which i'm sure you don't by now but <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'll fucking see you soon. I got a new video coming on Wednesday. I'm doing a new Remarkably Unfunny on somebody. I'm looking forward to that post, and uh, I'll see you soon. Uh, Nigel didn't have a big part in this video, but he's working security today, so he doesn't talk much when he's working security. Hope you guys have a good weekend. Deuces. <laughs>